Hey everyone, it's Shelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about where is green screen in Final Cut Pro. This is one of the first things that I had the hardest time trying to find when I made the switch from iMovie to Final Cut and so I want to show you what we're doing here. So here is a clip from my last video, the Pick Monkey one. And so I have basically an intro already saved. See in my timeline I have two clips already, my intro and then I'm going to add in my bumper basically with the animations. Then I'm going to see the when I come back after the intro is done playing. Select some where you see some green and you're going to go over to this window over here, select it and make sure you can type it in or search for the term keyer. It is not called green screen, it is called keyer which was such a weird thing for me to get my head around but it's called keyer. Drag it onto the clip or double click and it will apply the effect to the clip that is highlighted in yellow which is my intro. So if you go back and scrub through and you see it play, now you see that the intro plays as it should. I need my intro to probably be shorter so I'm also going to speed that up and then I need the clip underneath to extend longer because as you can see I come back and I start talking before the intro is done playing. So I'm going to select a small area here. I'm just going to select the B or blade tool and then I'm just going to select that clip right there because you're not going to see it, the intro is playing. I'm just going to go ahead and extend it out or you could take a uh, export a still frame and insert it there and, and you could also do that as well. So now as you come back and see it, the audio should drop off from my intro music and then as I start to talk, I'm just going to fuss with this a little because you want to make sure that I'm not standing there too long before you know I start talking and you don't want the music to cut you off either. So I'm just going to go ahead and play with that so that it looks right. And that's going to be personal preference and you're going to be able to do that and then you're going to see the intro plays exactly as it should. So that's just a small insight into how I do my intros. Hope that helps guys. Thanks guys for watching. Bye. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I put out a new video every week. I can't wait to hang out with you guys again. I'll see you very soon. Bye.